Lesson 2, Call of Abraham Jolie and Molly are twins and enjoy spending time together. Jolie and Molly have things in common, but not everything. For example, Jolie's favorite color is orange, while Molly's is purple, but both like strawberry and vanilla ice cream. Jolie and Molly playing outside. Look, Jolie, there's a beautiful rainbow. Hey, Molly, did you know that the rainbow is the sign of the covenant God made with mankind that he would never destroy life again with the flood? It is written in the book of Genesis, which says, And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant. Do you remember the story of Noah? Of course I do. When the children of our first parents increased on earth, their wickedness was inherited and increased. God destroyed all the sinful people with a big flood. God saved Noah the just and his family, showing mercy upon them. What, what happened next? Hey kiddos. I will tell you the rest of the story. The children of Noah increased on earth. They lived in a plain called Shinar. They all spoke the same language. One day, they wanted to build a city by themselves. And they wanted to build the greatest and tallest tower that reaches to the heaven. The story is so interesting, Daddy. What happened next? Kids. We are running out of time. Let's get ready to go to church. I will tell you the rest of the story in the car. Jolie and Molly in the car on their way to church. Daddy, would you please tell us the rest of the story? Did they build a tower? Basically, they wanted to make a name for themselves without God. God came down to see the Tower of Babel. He was disappointed with the people. Their prideful heart caused them to forget God. God knew that if He didn't discipline them now, 
they would fall deeper and deeper into sin. So God confused their language. What did that mean? That's right. God confused their language so they could not no longer understand each other. Guess what? If you and Jolie could not understand each other, what would be the result? Then we won't be able to do anything together because we can't understand each other. Yes, the same thing happened to them. They couldn't complete the construction of the tower and were scattered all over the earth. The Tower of Babel stood there incomplete as the sign of man's pride. Wow, Daddy! We reached the church. Since you were telling us the story, we didn't even realize how time flew by. Jolie and Molly in Sister Teresa's Catechism class. Sister Teresa, we heard the story of the Tower of Babel from our dad. Do you know what the Tower of Babel represents? Ooh, we do. It represents man's pride because our dad told us. Excellent. As children of God, we need to examine our hearts and minds every day to make sure we are staying on the path of humility and obedience while maintaining the complete respect for God's power. Staying out of the road creates a tower of Babel in our life. God is merciful to mankind all the time. He called Abraham in his mercy and he created a nation of Abraham's ancestors that he would protect. Children, who was the father of Abraham? I know, Sister Teresa. Terah was Abraham's father and Terah belonged to the family of Noah the Just. Correct, Molly. Abraham lived in a place called Haran. God made a promise to Abraham. What was that? That is in the Bible, Jolly. Read the Bible passage, Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. All the people on earth will be blessed through you. This was the promise God made to Abraham. Abraham was very faithful and obedient to God. He was 75 years old when God directed him to the land of Canaan. Abraham, his wife Sarah, his brothers and Lot, all their possessions and the people he had gathered in Haran began their journey. When Abraham reached in the land of Canaan, God said to Abraham that he will give the land to his descendants. Children, what did you learn from the story of the Tower of Babel and the story of Abraham? May I say it, Sister Teresa? Of course. Reflect on it. Those who started to build the Tower of Babel, excluding God, were dispersed. But Abraham, who lived in accordance with the commandment of God, received a blessing. We should always live obeying the will of God. Then we too will be blessed. Good job, Molly. Let's pray to God. You can repeat after me. O oh Lord God of our fathers, you are blessed. Your name is always great and glorious. O oh Lord, Lord God, God of our, our fathers, fathers, you are blessed. blessed. Your, name Your name is always, is always great, great and, glorious. and glorious. Today's Bible verse is Psalms 145 verse 13. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. Let's sing the song together.
God who blessed ancient father in whose abundant Which family did God save from the flood? What were the experiences of those who started to build the Tower of Babel? What does the Tower of Babel symbolize? What promises did God make to Abraham? Assignment for today. Write a paragraph about an incident from your life where you received a blessing because you obeyed the will of God. Now remember children, God is merciful and he always loves you. See you next week. Don't forget to finish your homework and learn the Bible words.